guys welcome back to my channel my name is sheila and if you are new welcome and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing for today's video i am going to be cash stuffing 335 dollars into my wallet for my spending money for this upcoming week so i am going to count this week as week number five for january since the um first day of February starts on a Thursday so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my spending money for the fifth week of January before we do that I do like to go over my expenses from my previous week and see if I have any money left over and then cash for the current week so let's just go ahead and get started and count the money so I have 150 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 50 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I do have $335 that I am going to be cash stuffing today. And this is going to be for my weekly spending. So before we get started, this is the wallet that I'm currently using. This is the Coach Foam wallet. I do have a video on how I turned this into an envelope wallet in case you are interested. I will have that video linked down below. So let's go ahead and get started. So this week has been a little, or this past week has been um a little weird with the weather so um we did have like two days of bad weather there was ice on the road and i missed work one of those days because um i was not going to risk driving myself to work because i do drive around 35 to 45 minutes to work depending on how traffic is and so one of those days i did call in they ended up um, canceling clinic anyways um so we were home for basically the whole weekend and then it was martin luther king jr day so um everything was closed so we were home and then we had bad weather on tuesday and wednesday so basically we were home for like four days straight so um the reason why i'm starting with that is because i did go um over budget on groceries and that is because basically we just ate when we were home for those days and so um, I didn't have any snacks. I didn't have some of our basic things like mayonnaise and butter, things that I don't usually buy, you know, every week. So I did go way over budget for groceries. So for Walmart, I did spend $133.22. And then at Sam's, I did spend $88.55, which cost me to go. So my original budget was $175. So I did go over budget, let's see, 88, I think it was like, oh, $46? I went over budget, $46 minus 175. Yep, I went over, I thought it was like $33, but it's $46. So yep, I went over by a whole lot. And again, we didn't have any um, snacks or anything like that. And so I basically had to buy a whole pantry full of like things so i'm gonna set up my cash tray because i totally forgot to set it up so i can cash stuff i don't know why so let's just go ahead and do that now again i'm gonna put my money a little bit separated because in one of my previous videos i had to restart the whole video because i was missing 20 dollars and it was stuck with the 10 so now i do my money a little bit like this okay so let's go ahead and cash stuff for groceries so i do 175 dollars for groceries so i have 150 75 hopefully this week i am going to be staying on track because like i mentioned i did already buy some staple items so 175 for groceries for um restaurants i did spend six dollars and 81 cents at whataburger i just got the burger only i didn't get no fries or drink because i'm trying to drink water and so i had my water with me so six dollars and 81 cents just for a burger and then i went to mcdonald's and got my son a um chicken nugget meal and it was eleven dollars and 52 cents i think i got some um fries too but i used the app so those were free and so i believe it was 11 dollars because i also got um a small drink so i had the um free fries and a small drink and he had the um chicken nugget meal so i do have six dollars left over i was thinking about keeping this money um 
for rollover money because sometimes I do go over like two or three dollars so I think I'm just gonna keep this and see how I do this week so I am going to be adding twenty five dollars hopefully I won't spend it all twenty twenty five thirty thirty one dollars I don't think I will but I do want to have extra just in case because I always tend to go over by like two three dollars so um, so restaurant is getting 25 for household. I did spend $6.94 at Sam's. They did have a sale on their laundry, not laundry detergent, fabric softener, the Downy. It was on sale for $6.30, but with tax, I did pay $6.94. And then at Walmart, I did buy some cleaning supplies. So that was $8.67. And then at Publix, I did spend $12 on the big thing of bounty paper towels they were on sale for like eleven dollars and some change if you have the ibotta app they were also giving a four dollars um cash back on this um on the bounty paper towels so that's why i went ahead and bought them there and i did get the four dollars from ibotta so i thought that was a really good deal so household again is empty this month i mean not this month this week so it will get 25 dollars and as you can see i've been trying to do deals and trying to get the best um price as possible for the things that we need and i think so far I have been doing pretty good. So household next is gas. I used up all my gas money. Um, I spent $26 um, at a BP gas station and then I got $15. So gas is going to be getting 40 because that is usually how much um, it takes to, um, or that's how much I usually use for my, for just my, my weekly spending gas money. So I do keep my husband's um, personal spending and gas money separate because he does use a separate card for that. So I keep his stuff separate. So you guys are going to be surprised, but I did not spend any of my spending money this week. And that is probably because I was at home and the weather was bad. I couldn't really go anywhere. Although I was on Amazon a couple of times, but nothing really you know caught my eye or any, anything that i wanted or needed so i am going to be keeping this in here and i'm going to be adding ten dollars to my spending um but instead of adding this ten dollars i am just going to be putting twenty dollars in here um because i do need those two tens for some change so i'm just going to exchange it for this uh twenty dollar bill so I'm just going to roll over those $10. So now I have 20 for miscellaneous. I did spend $4.08 at Dollar Tree. Um, and then I got some phone chargers from Amazon for $10. So I was needing a new phone charger and my son was also needing one. So I just bought a pack of three for, um, it was like $9 and some change, but with tax, it was $10.79. So now I have an extra charger in case we need one. So I thought that was a good deal and they work fine and they are like the 10 feet. So the cord is really, really long. Like right now I'm recording and I have my phone charging. So that is a good deal or I thought that was a good deal on some phone chargers. So um, miscellaneous is going to be getting $10 today. So for work, I did buy an ice caramel macchiato yesterday. And so I did um, use my $10. I was thinking about not getting anything and having those $10, but I was like, you know what? I haven't really spent anything or bought anything. I'm just gonna get myself some coffee. So I got um, coffee and it was $6 and some change. So I do have $3 left over for work. It being my rollover money in this binder. And this is going to anything work related, work parties, work um, birthday gifts, anything like that. So I am keeping that in here. So next is Bryson. So Bryson gets $5 for school, but um, I usually put it in here. And then at the end of the week, if he hasn't spent anything at school, I will put it in his 
school envelope that I have in this binder. So Bryson gets five for school. So Kodak, I did not buy Kodak any food right now. He has two packs of um, food left, which I'm going to the grocery store today. So I'm going to get him some food. And then I also want to get him some shampoo and conditioner. So I'm going to roll over this money and I'm going to be adding $25. So that way, um, I have enough for his food, his um, shampoo, conditioner. I also want to get another spray, you know, some of that smell good spray for him. So I'm going to roll over. Oh, let's count it and see how much I have all together. So I'm going to roll over last week's money with this week. So now he has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55. And I should be able to have some money left over after I buy all these things. But I don't know. We'll see. I have to go today. So I'm going to try to get his all his stuff. And then these $10 are for entertainment. So I do keep entertainment money in one of these envelopes here because um, this is for like the end of the month. Once I have plenty, we will go and do something for fun. So entertainment is going to be getting 10. And so far I have 20, 30, and 40. So um so far we haven't really thought of doing anything because the weather has just been terrible like right now it's supposed to rain all day today and um yeah i have to go and get groceries that is going to be it for this week's uh, i guess weekly cash stuffing spending money video um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed and now have 300 subscribers. And that is just amazing. Thank you guys all so much. Thank you to all of those that have been here from the beginning. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Again, if you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Up and hopefully I will see you guys in my next one.